Hi, hey, hello, what's up? I'm back and I'm homeless and I have a black eye. I'm doing great. This is Pixie. In case you didn't know, she's enjoying her cup of whipped cream. Is it good? Yeah. Um. I didn't really want to make this video. Um, I was putting it off, but I have been advised that it would be a good idea to kind of, um, I don't know, swallow my pride. I made a GoFundMe yesterday. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. Sorry, my voice is shaky. I like don't want to do this. <laughs> Fuck. Um, on October 8th, I was attacked uh, by two grown men that I was living with. Um, they are family members uh, and they were drunk. We got into an argument. The argument escalated. They hit me. I didn't hit either one of them. Um, then I, now I'm not going back to that house. I don't feel safe and I'm not welcome back. So, um, right now I've kind of been couch surfing. Um, I've been staying like back and forth mostly from my sister's house and my friend's house. Um, I don't know what to do. I can't stay at either of those places. Um, permanently so I need to figure something out um I did recently get a job but I've been waiting to hear back I mean I'm like stressing out about I'm gonna fucking cry holy shit I'm stressing out about my new job I just got a job but um I, they're supposed to call me tomorrow so I shouldn't stress because they it's not tomorrow yet um but I don't know when my first day is and it's just it's really stressful to not know like really what I'm doing or like how I'm gonna get money or where I'm gonna live like I have no idea what's going on in my life right now um I just had surgery last week like six hours after I got my ass beat and kicked out I got surgery um on my bladder it went well but like that just to pile on top of everything um damn it was you know <laughs> I was bound to have a mental breakdown on YouTube at some point, right? Um, I try to be a very private person. I try to not put all of my like issues out there for like everyone to know about, even my friends. I don't really tell my friends everything. I don't tell anyone everything because um, I don't like being weak. I don't like asking for help. I don't like needing to ask for help. But right now I really fucking need help. Um, fuck I'm sorry I just like I don't know what to do like I have a wheelchair and two dogs and no money <laughs> like I don't know where to go and I can't stay with anyone that I know permanently because none of their houses are either they're not accessible or they already have too many animals they can't accept my dogs and like I can't I don't know, I might ask my mom if she can hang on to Stella, but this one, I can't. She will not be okay without me. Um, you're gross. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm currently just parked at the beach with my dog, like not knowing what the fuck to do or where to go. I've been driving around aimlessly for like an hour and a half, I stopped at Starbucks to get a water and she got a little cup of whipped cream. Um, my life is fucking hard right now. I know a lot of people's lives are hard, um, but I think that's why I try to stay silent about so many of my own issues. I struggle all the time, but I just pretend like I don't. I have a really tough exterior and I try my best to have thick skin, but sometimes it's too fucking much. And right now it's, it's, um, it's way too much. It's a lot. So, um, 
yeah, that, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I guess I'm just making this video to kind of let you guys know what's going on with me. And um, I know a lot of my YouTube subscribers follow me on Instagram and you probably saw the GoFundMe already and you have questions. So <sighs> that's all I'm willing to to say right now about the whole situation. Um, but if, I mean, if you could share the GoFundMe or I mean, donate $1, like that would help tremendously. It would mean so much to me. I don't expect anything. I know like I hate asking for handouts. I just think it's so fucking stupid, but I don't know what else to do. I've just been like crying for a week constantly. And like, I don't know, I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. Like. I don't under I just don't understand like how I've been dealt so many shitty cards like my life just seems to get harder and harder and harder and then once I think things are looking up and I'm I'm like oh, I have a car and I just got a new job and like then my life is like uh you thought <laughs> nope now you're beaten up and homeless like what the f I just don't I just don't get it I don't understand it makes no sense it feels like it's never ending and um i don't really have anyone on my side um i don't know i have like a couple people that are willing to talk to me about things but they can't help me out financially or with a home a roof over my head so um i don't know that's just i feel fucking pathetic <laughs> i feel really horrible i feel useless and hopeless and just pathetic i just feel terrible about myself and um i don't want to give up i want to keep going i want my life to be good i want to have a good life i want to do good things but it's so fucking hard holy shit it's hard um so if i don't know if everyone watching this could just share the GoFundMe or like leave a supportive comment like even just kind words are really helping me mentally right now um or if you know of any like affordable housing in Washington state like in the greater Seattle area I'm I'm down for like Kent, Renton, Federal Way, Auburn, White Center, Berrien, anywhere anywhere near Seattle because that's where my job is um if you know of any affordable housing or um you know places that have like i don't know what that's called it's like um it's like affordable housing for persons with disabilities um i went to go try to see a social worker yesterday and ask about that because it's an emergency they told me i need to go to the emergency room but i couldn't bring my dog and um I, so I guess I have to try that again and see if someone can watch watch my dogs for me while I go do that. Um, I also was just trying to go see like a counselor, like a just to like talk about things because um, I need to fucking talk about things. I'm not doing okay. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm fine this time. I'm not fine. I'm not okay. Um, shit sucks and it's confusing and it's hard. So. I just, I really need help. I really need some help. I need some resources or I just need, you know, supportive words or donations to my GoFundMe would really fucking help me right now. I don't, don't have enough money to, to get an apartment and I don't think my credit's good enough to get an apartment by myself because I'm in a little bit of debt because of medical bills. Um... I understand a lot of people are going through that and I'm not trying to say that like my issues are any any worse than anyone else's um but this is really fucking hard for me <laughs> it's really hard I don't know what to do if I didn't have the wheelchair or the dogs I'd be solid <laughs> like I, getting a job would be so much easier finding somewhere to crash would be so much easier like just sleeping on you know I'm sure a lot of people would be like oh yeah you can come live with me because i wouldn't have a wheelchair or dogs like there's so many aspects in my life just making things so much harder 
all the time, constantly, just so hard. Um, fuck. I'm sorry if this is, like, all over the place. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna edit it. I don't know if I, um, I don't know if I have the willpower, like, the emotional, um, willpower to sit down and watch myself talk about this and, um, and, um, be able to edit it. So it might be kind of shitty. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, I'm trying my best. I'm trying really fucking hard. Like, really hard. Um, and I'm swallowing every ounce of my pride asking for, asking for help. But I just literally don't know what to do. Um, so... Oh, okay. I can feel myself like about to cry away fucking more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna peace out and just probably sit at the fucking beach for who knows how long because I don't know where to go. Um, oh my God. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this. Um, thank you in advance for the support if you whether it be just watching this or commenting something nice or sharing my gofundme or donating to my gofundme or sharing resources with me so i can find somewhere to live um i appreciate every single person that's ever helped me and i i'm so lucky and thankful to have an audience that is so um interactive and supportive i don't know what i would do <laughs> If I didn't have this platform, this and Instagram, I don't know. I wouldn't have any help. So, um, thanks to you guys, I do have some hope that I'll be able to get out of this. I genuinely appreciate each and every one of you. Um, sorry for being a ugly, blubbering fucking baby. Um, but life is fucking hard, man. <laughs> life is hard. For everyone. <laughs> um. Okay, I'll stop. And I'm just gonna get too, like, cryy. <laughs> um, thank you. I will see you guys soon.